Living on the Coast is proudly brought to you by Holiday Haven Tourist Parks. Planning your next adventure to the South Coast. Visit holidayhaven.com.au for more information. Hi, I'm Julia and welcome to Living on the Coast, the Essential Series. A show packed with things to do, things to see and stories about people and their passions. Well, for many years I was a pretty avid soil gardener, um, but over the last few years with the water restrictions it's been really hard to maintain a soil garden. Um, I'd also been doing for several years an aquaculture course, uh, been a keen fisherman, had seen the effect of dwindling fish stocks, um, came across the, the concept of um, aquaponics, um, having done a little bit of hydroponics before in my in my past, I decided that uh, it was just an obvious thing to do to combine the two and um, to basically go down the road of uh, growing everything aquaponically. We can grow anything in here where there's cabbages in there ready to, to harvest, there's beetroot, there's uh, silver beet, there's rocket, there's chilies, um, there's capsicums, there's basil, um, there's various other herbs, spring onions. Well, aquaponics has probably been around in one form or another for, um, in some ways, centuries. The Incans um, used to have uh, a floating raft system where they actually um, grew their vegetables in one of the lakes um, and used the fish to, f to fertilise the vegetables. It probably never came into the form it's in today until um, probably in the 80s when the Sopranos in America um, first refined what we call the flood and drain technique. Um, there was some experimentation done earlier than by uh, the new scientists um, who were quite instrumental as well in developing some of the principles. This is all grown in, in what we call expanded clay balls, um, which aren't cheap, but they're such an easy material to work with. A lot of other people use uh, straight uh, blue metal, um, about 20 millimetre blue metal, which is very good for the taller plants like um, corn and tomatoes. Um, and indeed this bed is um, top dressed with clay but actually has blue metal in it underneath. One of the beautiful things about um, aquaponics and growing in clay balls is it's very easy to harvest things, very easy to plant things, very easy to transplant things. And I can quite simply scoop my hand in and in terms of, of, of planting, whether it be a seedling, I can just merely poke it in, leave it like that, and that plant will suffer virtually no transplant shock whatsoever. If you came back tomorrow, you'll see that plant is basically unaffected. Aquaponics is essentially a combination of aquaculture, um, the growing of fish, and hydroponic principles for the growing of vegetables. In normal aquaculture we have a problem with um, the fish wastes and the ammonia they produce um, basically loading the water full of nutrients. Now those nutrients need to be cleaned and removed from the water um, for the sake of the fish health themselves. So this system is stocked with uh, quite a few yabbies. They help clean up a lot of the stuff off the bottom of the tank. Aquaponics is extremely water efficient. Um, it would use probably about a 10% of the water that, an that a normal soil garden would use. And that water loss is only um, due to transpiration through the plant leaves themselves. All right, so this is my main tra trout tank. There's about 250 rainbow trout in here. Uh, trout are such a fun fish. So here are some of our rainbow trout. Aquaponics has become so, almost mainstream now, not only in, in, in terms of, of backyard food production, but ever increasingly in terms of commercial production. The flood and drain model of aquaponics perhaps doesn't scale to a commercial scale, um, whereas the floating raft techniques do, um, but they don't require a huge amount of land, and in terms of the yield for the footprint, they'll beat almost any other food production system hands down. That's it for this week. We hope you've enjoyed the show. If you want to see more of the program, go to livingonthecoast.info for more videos. And while you're there, sign up to our newsletter to keep updated with what's happening on the show.
Tune in next week for more Living on the Coast, the Essential Series. Good night.